Hello, darlings. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting as always. I appreciate every one of you that come here and view my platform. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. We have someone here that feels entitled and is wanting or still persisting on stealing some type of connection from someone. Because we have the two of cups out here, this is why I am saying that this has to do with a connection. Someone is trying to interfere with a connection and I actually think it's not just one person because I see the Hierophant out here, which usually has to do with an institution, government, things of that nature, marriage and things like that. And then I see the three of cups out here as well. So there is some type of effort being made by someone that is a bit of a narcissist and that's an understatement for this character. But this person is trying to block some type of news letter information from making its way to someone there is some revelation going on spirit is bringing balance into a situation that has to do with a two of cup that is a divine union there's a higher purpose for these two people being together there is some type of reality these two are supposed to create together this is almost like someone of the light and another person of the dark coming together to bring balance into the world. I don't think the people that are trying to block this union quite understand the magnitude of this relationship or the importance of it. There may be like a child that is supposed to be born out of this union because a lot of my reading that I've been doing, I've been seeing the page of wands, right? And that can have to do with a child being born and things like that and the empress has been coming out a lot as well. So um, the union between these two, this collaboration is extremely important and essential. And I don't think these people are aware that while they are blocking this union from coming together, it's also blocking a lot of opportunities and things for them in the future. You know, a lot of dark workers, they do things that momentarily please them or make them happy, momentary pleasures. They don't think in the long run, how is this going to affect me in the future? Is this going to have any type of effect on my family, my children, my legacy, things that their longevity, they don't think that way. They think just right now, this is pissing me off, so I have to do something to block it. This makes me feel uncomfortable, so I have to do something to block it. I don't like this person because they're not the same color as me. They don't come from my background. They make me feel weird about, you know, how I feel about myself because I'm insecure. This person is not insecure, so I don't like them. So because they feel insecure or are unhappy in the moment, they're going to do some malicious act to find momentary pleasure, but not realizing they're blocking their future, right? So that's kind of what these people are doing. There are people that have been working over time, extremely over time to block this union from coming into being. These people have been plotting and planning, just putting in a lot of work. The fact that we have the seven of pentacles and the ten of wands out here, it is extremely alarming. And then let's not disregard the ten of swords being out here. And then you see the ten of cups being out here. This means that this is a family that is working against your own to block their forward movement, to block some type of new beginning for this person. These people are robbing this person of a brand new passionate beginning, right? Even though spirit is telling this whole family to sit down, they're not listening. Someone in here is extremely stubborn. Someone has been guided to see things from a higher perspective. Uh, they're not listening. They are not listening, and this is gonna not, this is not gonna turn out really well. Someone in here is really persistent on carrying out this malicious plan. This is a, a family of coats, covens, and I don't know if this masculine is not aware. You may have been initiated into this coven or this coat unknown by you but your family is a cult they do this every moon cycle new moon full moon they dress up get under the moonlight or get in get together and do their rituals they've been doing this for years decades okay this is a cult and i don't know how it is you're not aware that your family is a coven you should see how they move Maybe you've been blinded. You don't really involve yourself with your family or something like that, or you just kind of pretend or act like you don't know what's going on. But your family is a cult. This is a coven, okay? These are people that feed off of light workers. These people have been trapping people with them for decades. This is like how cults move. They will whine you, mold you, and then trap you. By that, I mean, when they first meet you, they will, you know, 
laugh with you, get friendly with you, courtesy and things like that. The whole time they're being nice to you, giving to you. They're studying you. They're learning your weak points. They're learning your flaws. They're learning about your traumas, the things that trigger you and things like that so they can utilize those things against you later when they are molding you into what they want you to become. Okay, before you know it, you are participating in their low vibrational energies and things like that. And unfortunately, these types of people, you kind of have to feel sorry for them because they are groomed to be this way from the time they are young. So sometimes these people are maybe in like their preteens, teenage years. Let's say you work for a company, you start working for their company at maybe 17, 18 years old. They introduce you to their lifestyle. They're going to make it look very, very superficial. You're living in a fantasy. They'll make you think that you are a family and things like that. You look out for each other. Before you know it, you've been groomed into, you know, taking out malicious act against people that have done nothing to you or in the name of loyalty and principle that does not exist because a lot of these people don't even like each other they are all in here with their own motives and things like that a lot of illusions are going on with these people a lot of endings are coming it's a lot of craziness just going on unnecessary craziness these people consider there's some type of family tradition that they are carrying on but they don't realize all they're doing is accumulating karma for their uh, their lineage and each of them are going to keep incarnating having a work of this karma but because they're not giving the members of their families the opportunity to work of this karma this is a cycle that is going to keep going on and on and on and on this is why some of you in this coven this cult you feel exhausted and tired and it's not a physical tire it's not just a mental a mental tire either your soul is tired because your soul is tired of repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over it's not progressing our souls are meant to ascend okay ascension is the purpose of us incarnating we go through karma learning all of these different lessons but you all are not learning because your families are trapping you in this cycle of karmic incarnations right you keep incarnating and having to repeat the same karma you're supposed to learn something only something is only karmic if you fail to learn the lesson the first time because now you have to repeat that you all have been repeating this same cycle for many many lifetimes and you're not ascending because there has been a system put in place where every time you all incarnate you are having to live the same karma lust greed superficiality materialism you, you a lot of you are committing crimes and things like that you're being blackmailed there's someone in here that's being blackmailed so they're stuck in this situation they can't get out of it this is how crazy it is you all are groomed to trap your souls in an institution in a coven in some type of toxic family dynamic where you all are under some type of illusion that you are living by principle there is no principle when you have to steal from other people when you can be brainwashed to believe that your purpose on this planet is to steal from other people to torment other people there's something wrong the very act of you taking money to pay someone to go do something to someone else there's something wrong with that you have to see the problem within that quotes initially were not meant to operate this way there were secret uh, collaborations between people where people were learning secret knowledge that the rest of the world did not have access to that was the whole purpose of quotes coming into being quotes really just have to do with people learning secret knowledge it doesn't have anything to do or is really not supposed to have anything to do with people tormenting other people playing mind games of other people behaving immaturely not 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 uh maturing in life not ascending in life the whole purpose of a coach should be that we are able to ascend at the end of the day because we are putting in the effort to learn we're improving our environment in the earth but your family sir your family they are a danger to the world to this planet your family is a danger to this planet so whatever it is that they are doing 
whoever they're going up against, this divine energy, you too, the universe has no hesitation of bringing an end to anyone in your family to make sure that this union comes together because there's a higher purpose for this union. So your family in the eyes of the universe is nothing but a fly that they can just flick up to remove out of the way. But they are under some type of illusion that they have power to prevent something from coming into being. There is nothing you all are doing that's going to prevent these two people from coming together. It, there is no delay. On earth, we think there is a delay, but there is never a delay. Everything happens accordingly by the universe standard. Everything happens on time. Nothing ever happens before or after. So there's nothing any of you are doing that's going to prevent this from coming into being. The time, all of this time that's, that, that is going on where you all are doing all of these silly little games, this is just you all being given the time to expose your character, people seeing you for who you are, but there's nothing you're doing that's going to stop this from coming together. The universe has already told you all to sit down. They're already sitting you all down as well. You all are experiencing a lot of endings. Someone in here, uh, most of you have been told to see things from a higher perspective and move on, make better decisions. This union is still coming together. With the three of cups out here, it's still coming together. There is someone in here that wants to invite a star seed to some type of event just to cross them, to cause some type of illusion to them. It's not going to happen. This person is not coming to any type of event that has to do with you all. Nada. Whatever celebration you all are having, this person is not going to be a part of it. Because this person see you all for who you are. They know what's going on behind the scenes. This is someone that's intuitive, spiritually gifted, and they're showing up here as the star seed. We have the moon out here, which, which reiterates that you all do this moon cycles faithfully. Every new moon, every full moon, you all are out and about. The witches are howling every full moon, every new moon. It's ridiculous. Okay. This star seed may be even speaking the truth. They're, they're taking charge of their life. This person had no choice but to get in their masculine king of swords energy because of things that you all have been doing behind the scenes. And you think no one knows about it. Everybody knows. There's a king of swords that wants to come in and cause some type of illusion. This is the this star seed is this king queen of pentacles. Someone wants to come in and cause some type of illusion. To have this person living in fear, not wanting to move forward and things like that. But this person is still going to move forward. As you can see, we have the magician out here. They're still going to move forward. This person is bringing balance into their life. This is someone highly gifted, taking charge of their life and moving forward in victory with victory. This is someone that is taking charge. This is someone that's a little bit fiery as well. People may not know that. Someone from this institution wants to come in and cause some type of illusion. There's some type of marriage that, this per that you people are trying to prevent from coming together. By the time this is over, this masculine may not be wanting anything to do with the with any of you. Like this person is going to disown you all. There is bigotry going on here. It is so weird. It's like they have a problem with this star C having spiritual gifts, but they want this person's gifts. This is because none of these people have any spiritual gifts. So this star C is different from everyone else they've ever stolen from. Okay. They are intimidated. They're in awe of this woman. They're stalking this woman. Just determined to take her out. Nothing you all do is going to work. This person is going to be partnering up with, a, with an emperor. And whether that's your son or not, it's still going to happen. This woman is in her queen of swords energy. 
queen of source energy someone from your institution your coach your kobe may want to come towards this woman to speak their truth pick a fight or something she has no time for nonsense you all already know that this woman has no time for your nonsense why are people having this much time on their hands how do you all have time to be monitoring people pulling tricks stealing from stealing if you all are so powerful why do you need to steal from other people your hands are dirty you all betray your own kind your own flesh and blood that should let you know that there's no loyalty amongst you all that you all will do any and everything to betray your own kind there's a mother figure in here which is why this queen of pentacles is in here as well it is ridiculous okay yeah trickery someone here is a narcissist and they feel entitled entitled to something and they're working over time to prevent this new beginning for these two people there's a king of source in here there's an emperor in here there's an emperor that goes to a high priestess to get a reading this some this is someone in there's another emperor in here that's into black magic someone in here like he does love spells and but this is someone that's too old to be doing stuff like that there's an emperor in here as well that will be moving forward with this woman this high priestess and if it just so happened that that is not the son that she's supposed to be with or this lover that she's supposed to be with he's going to hit you up for the rest of his life he may even cut you all off yeah spirit is sitting you all down every member of this family that partook in this foolishness is being sat down and exposed you all are being exposed for who you are there's an ending coming for the illusions it's a king of swords that was causing some type of illusion he's experiencing an ending it is ridiculous there's a queen of pentacles in here that was guided to see things from a higher perspective but she refused to you the queen of pentacles you're moving forward you the star sea you're moving forward there's nothing that's going to block your forward movement all of these trickeries are coming to an end you're showing up in here as well as these different energies because you've had to be these different energies because of what these people are doing to make sure that you are staying grounded, staying protected, doing what you need to do to go about, go on about your life and things like that. There was a betrayal here because of a twin, a, a, a connection that people didn't want coming together. But the truth has been exposed. They were, oh my gosh, these people were working overtime really hard. They may have even paid people to block this new beginning. Like they had a plan. They were planning. They've been planning time after time on how to block this new beginning, but it's still coming into being. They like said they want to invite you to some type of social event, social outing, something like that. But there's something they're not going to tell you it's a trap someone's going to want to come in to cause some type of harm to you so don't go anywhere with these people they can't have any sleep at night they're tormented they're being hunted your ancestors may be on their behinds we have judgment out here your ancestors are definitely on these people behind someone here is mentally tormented from stealing from a, a star sea, betraying a star sea, blocking this person forward movement. Someone was initiated. Someone was initiated. And it could have been you, the divine masculine that was initiated. 
but you're gonna have to find your way out of this because this is a lifelong curse that your family initiated you into truth has been illuminated this queen of swords is speaking the truth this person is moving forward. Their path is clear. There are no blockages. And someone is pissed off about that. Someone is extremely pissed off about that. This game is over. It's over for you all. My goodness. Yeah, it's over for you all. You're living in fear. This is what you wanted this woman to be living in, but she refuses to. She's moving forward with her life. This is someone balanced. They've learned how to calm the storm within themselves so that they can take charge of their life and move on. Yeah, you all were trying to block an offer from coming in. Someone was expecting to get this offer, but it's not coming in. Like there was another feminine energy in here that was expecting to get that offer. Oh, baby, it doesn't look good for her. It does not look good for her. Someone is experiencing an ending. Dang, the truth has been exposed about them. Baby, things are being looked over. Someone was, oh my gosh. Someone was pretending to be something they're not. And they're having to face the truth now. They're having to face the truth. I'm going to leave it at that. My goodness. Have a blessed day, everyone.